All right, let's do it. Are these $20 Bluetooth microphones amazing? Let's find out. All right, here we go. The main best of professional wireless lavalier lapel microphone for iPhone, iPad, cordless, omnidirectional condenser recording mic for interview, video, podcast, vlog, YouTube. I just slide on the video just for that. It's a wireless microphone. In fact, two of them. This one specifically is for the iPhone. And you can record, yes, anything that needs audio, basically. Uh, it's plug and play, which it definitely is. It says it has a 65 foot recording range because that's Bluetooth range. Um, but um, you would wouldn't really be able to hear it because the microphone probably couldn't pick up that far. We're going to test the iPhone versus this versus uh, another XLR type of lapel microphone that you might pick up off of Amazon for a few bucks with the iRig 2. But let's get into this and see what it looks like. So when you open it up, it's a very simple packaging. I purchased this for $23, $24 myself. This is not sponsored at all. Right now, as I'm recording this, it's on sale for $20, so I paid a little bit too much. But you get everything, including this little dongle, which I'll talk about here in a few seconds with an extra port on it. It comes not only for the iPhone, but they make one USB-C uh, capable and also one with both, which is kind of weird. You get a USB-C cable, of course, to charge these lapel microphones and these little clippies for the lapel mic as well. So you get two of them. They both need to be charged up because they have a little uh, battery plugged into them. And there's a little power button that you can see right there. Now, all you need to do is simply slide in this little clip and you are good to go. Now, I guess you don't have to use a clip if you don't want to, but you probably should. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like to set it up. Simply plug in the lightning adapter because I'm using an iPhone and it just basically works. That's <laughs> correct. And you can use two of them at the same time, which is really cool. Here you can plug in a lightning adapter or a charging cable and you can listen back if you want to. And that just all works based on whatever you're going to record your audio with. There's a little instruction manual here, but literally you just turn it on and it just turns on. They say that there is like a reverb mode, which I didn't really get to work very well, but yeah, again, you just literally turn it on and it just kind of works. And that's the most amazing part. There's a little debug info, but let's go and test it out. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is just take a simple video clip here using the built-in iPhone. This is the iPhone 11 pros built-in microphone. Not here. So my dog is over here snoring. Maybe you can hear her snore. Maybe you can't. Depends how good that is. Now, of course, there are some different audio modes on different iPhones and different noise cancellation, different other things. But if you're just going in setting down your phone, this is probably what it would sound like right here. OK, next up is going to be the iRig 2. This is using a lapel microphone that are kind of cheap off of Amazon, almost about the same price as the entire lapel setup that's wireless. However, with the iRig 2, it is using 48 volt uh, power here. You can obviously hear it back. You can adjust the gain. You have a lot more control over what's going on. But it is, of course, plugged in via a wire going into my iPhone. So that's going to be one thing that's there. Now, of course, I can adjust the microphone, maybe put it over here, maybe put it a little bit over here. How about right in front of my face? How about really close right here? So that's going to be with some of the audio coming off of this lapel microphone. OK, last up here is going to be the tiny little wireless one. So not this one, but this one right here. So these little wireless Bluetooth microphones that are going to be plugged in. I just simply plugged in the adapter, turned it on, and ideally the camera and everything picks it up automatically. So this is kind of nice because I can place it anywhere on the body. There's no cords, obviously. That's really nice. Of course, I have it clipped in here. So let's put it over here to the right hand side, the left hand side, and maybe in front of me here. And of course, right in front of me here, too. So that's kind of nice. I can kind of easily move it around. No wires. I do like that, of course. So let's see what this sounds like at the end of the day and compare and contrast everything now up against my actual podcasting microphone that maybe you'd want to bring or even use an iRig if you took it on the road with you. So let's see. OK, so I don't really feel like it's fair to compare it to my blue microphone here. All right. You know, I do have this on a nice road arm. I have this pop filter on it. I have the shock mount. I have it hooked up to an audio interface. I have some filters inside of OBS. So is it really fair necessarily to compare these tiny $25 little Bluetooth speakers to this? Well, no, but I'm also not going to be recording all my podcasts. Now, one thing that is obviously very, very nice is like, look at this. It's absolutely tiny. You can just like throw these in your pocket if you want, bust them out and you're ready to record. 
I also do love that they're USB-C chargeable. So anytime I'm carrying around a USB-C cable, which is a majority of my products besides my iPhone, I'm good to go. Now, one additional thing that is a huge bonus that I didn't really point out or test, but I want to make it clear is like you get two of these. So if one breaks, you got another one. Or what if you have two guests, you're interviewing somebody, right? You can just give them one, put it onto their shirt. Boom, boom, boom. You're totally good to go. I think that's a huge perk. You're literally getting two microphones for like 20 to $25. And there are a bunch of these on Amazon here. I'll just literally scroll through all the Amazon things for you. And there's stuff with like, like little filters on top of it. And this thing, they're all basically the same. Now, these ones I got, they were $25 because my good friend, Frank Krueger, who I do merge conflict with, which is right here on my YouTube channel, I bought these same exact ones. So when we travel, we want to sound exactly the same with our iPhones. Having two, I also like that they give you three little clips because they know you're going to lose these, uh, is kind of genius in general. And I feel like this is a great investment just to have with you at any time. You're not going to be like taking phone calls with them or things like that or or having other conversations. But what you're going to be doing, if you're doing any recording or you're doing like Twitter spaces or Clubhouse, you can easily hook it up, no wires, anything like that, and you can still additionally charge your iPhone or actually listen back to it as well, which is really, really cool. So anyways, there you have it. That are the $25 little gems of joy that you can get on Amazon. What did you think? What about the different audio? I think overall listening back to it, everything sounded pretty pretty good. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to compare and contrast to this blue microphone that I have here if I can get really close and adjust it. The downsides are that you're not really adjusting the audio level. That sort of um, audio interface where you plug an XLR into, you have a lot of control back over the gain. It's phantom powered. You have more control over the actual microphones that you're putting in. But if you just want something, plug and play. These are not bad. I'll put links down in the show notes below to not only these specific ones I bought, but to the entirety of all of the Amazon's listings where they range anywhere from like $18 up to $30 to $40. But this is the $25 ones that I bought. Anyways, if you have some of these, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have something else you want me to test out or give a go, let me know. I did some other reviews like webcams and other audio equipment. So put down what you want to see in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this review of audio presentation, YouTubing, interview, podcast equipment. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, jam that subscribe button. Super appreciate it. Until next time, thanks for watching.